Okay, guys. We finally made it. We <laughs> finally made it! We're an hour behind schedule, <laughs> but for good reason. We did have 31 <laughs> teams show up to this. Which is very, very... That's incredible for a first community event that uh, isn't the uh, regular PCL. Um, Nate, how are you today? I'm good. I'm, I'm a little bit tired today. Uh, I'm only here for a short while. Um, Nate wasn't even I'm looking to be here. <laughs> <laughs> this is my weekend off. Um, I wasn't supposed to be here. <laughs> but, you know, the, like you said, 31 teams is just a testament to the hard work that you guys and all the mods that are behind the scene put in. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and obviously the teams, the players, and so you know, good on them as well. You know, for making this what it is. Uh, the easy way to put this, uh, just to explain this, guys, is um, PCL is associated with a Facebook group called Paragon Moba. Uh, myself and a couple of the mods who are part of the PCL and the Facebook group uh, decided to run a community event, and we're calling that the PCL Arcade. So when P uh, PCL NA isn't on, PCL EU isn't on, that third week is going to be the PCL Arcade, which is going to be a community event uh, for everyone to join. High ELO people on Agora are not, so anyone over 1900 on Agora is not allowed. I think we might even lower the bar a little further uh, after that. So this is for everyone else, so you can play in a tournament without getting completely destroyed by uh, the best players in the game right now. Um, and we'll also run little fun events like reverse draft tournaments, ARAM tournaments, ARAM events, uh, just things like that. So that's what we're gonna have going on every three weeks. And it's the PCL Arcade. Uh, so that's going to be it. But we're an hour behind schedule. Nate needs to get out of here sooner than later. Uh, I'm just happy he's actually here. So we're going to get straight into game. Teams, we're not really worried about teams going on. I think this is what team... I, I'm not too sure. We'll figure that out in a little bit. Because <laughs> there's 31 teams. They don't have names. They're just, they're just a bunch of numbers, man. They aren't real people. <laughs> So I'm we're gonna sure get, we'll get now. I'm through the tournament, so yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get straight into the game. This is going to be, uh, for some reason, I have I am Prophet showing up twice in his team. Grim uh, isn't loaded. How do you fix that? Uh, if you let it roll in and then ten seconds back, it should fix the bugs. I'm gonna go do that right now. Um, boo boo boo. It didn't fix it. The gr their grim doesn't exist. But we're going to get right into the game. So, are you ready? Yeah, I'm at five now. All right, I'm going to get to five in one second. And we're going back. Okay, I'm at six, but it's not a big deal. Three, two, one, and go. So, we are in game, guys. Welcome to the very first game of the PCL Arcade. We appreciated everyone on uh, one team. We have I am Prophet twice, but I'm sure I'm sure that's not going to be the case. I'll introduce <laughs> the team on the left, and that is going to be T Man on Muriel, Oshui on Greystone, BFC is going to be Rampage, I believe in the jungle. I am Prophet mid lane Howitzer, and if I can quickly scroll through my the longest Discord list I've possibly it's, ever seen. It's uh, Bro, Bromac on the Grim. And it's Bromac on the Grim, who we actually can't hover. Where is he? Hmm. There he is. Yeah, I physically can't click him, but Bromac is on the Grim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, on the other side, we've got Iraptor on the Murdoch, Midnight Wolf 03 on the Greystone, It's Me Promise on the Grux, Evil, Evilus. Evil, Evil as, as child, child. Yeah. Evil as child, sorry, and how it's there, and up suicidal on the rampage. You gotta forgive me with some of these names. Obviously, it's not people we know, so some of the pronunciations on some of them are gonna be uh, <laughs> a little a lucky. Little bit, uh, <laughs> hopefully, I've got too many Russian players in here, not because we don't want to see them, but I have nightmares trying to pronounce their <laughs> names. So I'll have to bear with us, folks. Um, the best part is when we had uh, Rue in the in the carbon tournament. The, the first carbon tournament. His name is R U O E, and we had no idea how to spell his name or say it. So over the tournament, it eventually just became a guttural gut noise, and it just <laughs> <laughs> that's how we decided to cast that one. Um, well, when I had uh, when I had all the Russians and they all have the Cyrillic alphabet, and I'm sat there in Google Translate trying to and, and like 
getting to pronounce it at the same time, I'm like, oh, I'm never going to be able to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just to, so the teams are starting to get out, uh, get into their first farms. To give everyone an idea, now we, we know ELO isn't, ELO doesn't matter, it's not a real thing, that, that argument. Um, but Agora is a good reference point, and it's how we balance the teams. So if you're wondering what the average skill level of the players are, each team should be hovering around, uh, 1400, 1500 as their average team, uh, skill level on Agora. We're, we're specifying on Agora as the the key ingredient there because it was a fair reference point for organizing 200 some people to sign up. <laughs> and and why, why some people may not believe in ELO, it does, they try and, sites like Agora and uh, Paragon GG, they track as best they can the internal MMR of each player. Mm -hmm. um, so if your ELO is, you, you are roughly around at your skill level. So if you're gold, you're going to be playing other golds. Unless it's early morning and you get into like a, a master and four golds versus five golds. And that's always a fun game. And we have our first kill of the game. Howitzer in the mid lane is going to go down. Uh, and as they have Rampage on, BFC picked that one up. There was a bit of a fight over in the right lane as well kill was not secured sorry i was adjusting my volume levels on there one on that one guys um and that seems to be a good way to get first blood only three minutes into the game yeah a very quick gang but obviously when you got this rampage rotating and the how it's a mine you know you got a lot of cc you got a lot of just basically when, when, if you're being ping pong around the air there's not a great deal you can do while you're taking those auto attacks and those r2000 so uh, mm -hmm. a little unlucky there for for the howitzer. And he's actually walking up right behind the howitzer. He's going to use a landmine to bounce him away. He's going to hit by the tower and knock the green buff out. BFC is starting to rotate onto Promise as fast as he can, but he will walk away damage free uh, as I believe the first Raptor's spawning on the map at four minutes. Speaking of which, Raptor and Suicide on the dual lane doing a very good job of pressuring on Chewie at the time. <laughs> yeah, these, uh, these Greystone solo laners that. Um... Not to sound undisrespectful, you know, disrespectful, you know, yeah. When, when people play Greystone in solo lane, it is a little bit, it can be called easy mode, um, just because it's such a trouble to kill a lot of the time, you know. He's tanky anyway, you gotta kill him, then mm -hmm. you gotta kill him again. But they gotta wait until they hit that level 5, that all important, uh, you know, I, th I think when Greystone gets at level 5, it becomes a different creature to deal with completely. Same as the Rampage, when he hits level 5, just so difficult to kill and so, you know, it, it's such a chore that you have to do it twice, so. Especially it does seem to be the case. And he's very, uh, very popular um, in the lower brackets, when you think about it. Just because he has that uh, survivability. And you can build yeah. him full damage and still just run through a team and have like 4,000 health just because he's <laughs> yeah. health bar. So, <laughs> easy yeah, that's win the there. Thing. But I mean, if the, if the team switched on, and they've, you know, they've got, they've got, both teams have got a fair amount of CC, so. If he just becomes that ping pong in the middle of the map where, you know, he comes down from his ult, gets CC'd out and just gets taken out. It's just getting that first life out of him fairly. Yeah, once oh. he's CC'd in his ult, it's not too big of a problem. Uh, oh, we do Rampage see misses rock. Rampage missing that rock. And uh, there will be no gank off on that one. Um, not too sure how long the average game time's on that one, because in the regular PCL, we see them go 35, 37 minutes. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the games play out these ones it, it can it, it depends on like obviously the skill levels and the skill matches um sometimes you can just have someone who can carry the game and really dominate it, it, it can happen especially if that if they, like each team has like maybe a higher level person if that person is the carry they can really start to dominate the team mm -hmm. uh, the enemy team it can happen but you know sometimes you've got to have them high yellow players that are the carries and that's just the breaks yeah so the um the highest level players in the game in this tournament i believe are hovering around 1800 on agora right. and that one those they will be jake sim and taboo are going to be the highest level players in this game who are currently in the middle of the tournament right now so we'll probably be able to see them at some point um for sure which will be exciting to see if they especially if they pair up against each other because at that point it really becomes um the the higher skilled players are shot callers at that point and yeah. it really shows like how well can you understand your game sense and keep your team uh in check sort of thing there's a big fight going over in the right lane right now as shui is doing his best to defend his own tower 
Suicidal is doing a good job of uh, keeping him off with the rock on that rampage. By the way, guys, the uh, rampage bundle is on sale in store. So if you really want that <laughs> emote, now's the time to get it. Because I know I picked it up. It's not sponsored by Epic. Not, I, know, it, I have no I, affiliation I, with Epic whatsoever. I, I, I think he is digging though with uh, little advertisements like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we have I Am Prophet being ganked off in the mid lane right now. He will block away. Score is still what? 1 0? Oh? Yeah, 1 0 oh right now. Not a lot happening. Shooting just hitting 5 over in uh, his lane on the left side. We have BFC running in with the Rampage Rock. He's invisible. Kind of wondering how he's going to react to that one because Shuey's walking away from him at the time. That would have been a good gank opportunity. Oh, let's see. What are they going to do? There's the rock. Shuey's coming in. Rampage rock, rampage rock, rampage caught out. Suicidal getting jumped on right now. He's trying to get away. And then he gets bounced back in by the Howitzer landmine. Promise is there to help out his teammate, but will he be able to do it is the question. We have a dive going on from the rampage and Shuey who will might. And he does secure the kill running past the tier one. Now Raps is in a lot of trouble, gets stunned out by the Rampage Rock and Prophet's landmine, but he's going to walk away with his life as Jui's completely navigate himself through the enemy jungle to safety. And that's going to be one of our first kills of the game, guys. Kill number two, yeah. eight minutes in. And this is why Rampage is such a strong character. You know, he, he can dive you in the tower, that two-second stun on the first level. Everyone, everyone loves it. Everyone's complained about it. No one likes being <laughs> hit by it. And, you know... It, that's what rampages do. Playing rampage support is so boring sometimes because you're just like, you're just doing your job. You yeah, you press the rock and then you sit there and just look at your enemy laner and, and there's nothing else you need to do. Just stand in front of the minion wave of your rock saying, do it. Come, I dare you. See what happens. Oh, it's me promise managers to uh, take down that tower now. So. This first, I mean, usually we're looking, these solo lane towers usually go down around the, Five, between six the six, minute mark. between the six and 10 minute mark, you know, depending on if you're the other enemy is freezing the lane or is he being aggressively pushing, looking mm -hmm. for that lane swap. The real, usually the real key one, even like the ADC and the off lane uh, turrets don't matter so much, it's that mid lane. That's the one that you're looking to open up the map and allow that route to be taken uh, across the, the, the jungle, the enemy jungle, basically. So you get more rotations and your your jungle your jungle can be more of a nuisance, basically. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about the rotation yet. You can yeah. actually do move around the map a lot uh, a lot more freely. We almost had a gank on the mid lane there just a second ago, but up suicidal decided to walk away from that one. Yeah, these two houses have both been uh, ganked quite a lot. They've both been fell. I mean, they've only been killed I think once. So. Yeah, I am Prophet being picked up the ones. Um, so I think both of them are very cautious. They had the Crooks and the Rampage visit numerous times. I'm just playing that a little bit safer. So, Chewy uh, and Rampage getting into a bit of a slap fest over in the right lane right now. And they're going to back off from that one. Chewy taking next to no damage as he does have level advantage at the time. Uh, BFC in the jungle with his green buff clearing out minion waves. We haven't seen a lot of action over in the uh, blue duo lane at all it's yeah. just been grim and t-man uh, yeah i don't even pressure. think uh, midnight wolf's even back yet he's actually hot he's uh, holding on to six points right now but he's doing well to hold his tower do you know what i mean he's i think his tower is below 50 percent health so he's, he's doing well at holding them off so you're gonna have uh, to do a good job of giving me the stats of uh, that grim because straight out he has <laughs> no health bar for me and he, i can't even he's not even on my game list on the scoreboard Right, so he's, um, he's actually ahead on farm of the Murdoch, he's on 57 farm, and they're both on 14 CXP. Uh, only thing is the Murdoch's actually spent while the Grim is still sitting on two cast tokens right now. And he just go he just went down, right? He just died? Because uh, it just showed how it's yeah, dying. Yeah, 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 he, <laughs> yeah, he did. But the, the how it's did die as well. So I oh, well then it. it works out. We have a tower <laughs> dive right now from the Grux as uh, Raptor does a good job of using the long arm a lot to pick up that Muriel on the tower dive. So they should be allowed to pressure that at this time because no one's really going in there. BSC is rotating in. He sees the Grux. He's level 5 right now. He has the purple buff. And they know that the Rampage is there. Question is... <laughs> he will get away. But I mean, Epic will be happy because even though he's invisible, you always have the audible sound of the rock being picked up. So don't worry, you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> kind of safe. It's just like, uh oh. 
Yeah, you, you, that's when you know you need to be like either getting out of there, maybe pulling back into your own tower, your own team. Uh, at that start point when you start running noise. in squiggly lines just in case. <laughs> Throwing some zigs and some zags there. He's around um, here somewhere. What do you want to do? So have a quick look at the team comps. Uh, I know you obviously can't see Bromac. Um, but who do you think got the better of the team comps? Better of the team comps? Well, there is no mirror. Well, there's there are mirrors allowed. No bans. So anyone can play any hero. It doesn't matter. Um, we decided it would be best for everyone's first tournament to uh, not get gimped by draft. Just, just in case you play one hero really well and then that hero gets picked or that hero gets banned, then you're basically at that point going to be a liability um, for the team. So we just thought this way would be better. As far as team comps are concerned, though, um, they're actually the same team comp. Mine. <laughs> they're the exact same team comp minus the Grim and the Muriel. Um, yeah. No, I, you got the Grim and the Muriel, the Grooks. Yeah. Uh, I the, would say... The, well, yeah, it's, it's Murdoch, 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 Grim, and then the uh, Muriel for the Rampage and support, and then Rampage versus Grooks on the jungler. I always so, yeah. favor out the Murdoch over the Grim. However, the Grim does have that slow for the team to catch up. Um, yeah, Grim's always more been a sort of a semi-caster sort of um, ADC. So it's more akin to a caster than a, like a true ADC. Uh, I don't see anyone picking all this mid lane fight. Uh, nothing like Harry. going over everyone's head. <laughs> just, you know, casual things. We do have Promise invading the enemy jungle. Look at all those five camps! Oh my god! It's lazy Rampage. Rampage, um, man! And we do have Promise rotating it right now. He's going to avoid the Grox and go straight on the mural. There's the clap. He's got the ult going up and brings in the pull, hits the Grim, and then he gets knocked back by the uh, Plasma Displacement Bomb. And that will be a failed gank over in the left lane. However, Raptor does get the ultimate off, bringing out a little bit of the health on that Grim, which I cannot see. Uh, he's about, oh, what's he on? He's on 230 ish hit points. So. so he was low. Yeah, he was sort of. Well, he was 230 when he hit him after he hit him with the other, so not low enough. Sneaky Paragon, what are the teams playing? Two community teams. Uh, we don't have actual names for them. Just give me a sec if I can go through my list here. So it's going to be Team 9, uh, I believe, versus Team 20. <laughs> catchy, catchy names. I know, guys. <laughs> uh, if you're wondering, we had 31 teams show up to this tournament. So 200 people, over 200 people registered over the course of two weeks. And they all showed up, which I was not expecting at all. Even, even in like PCL, that doesn't happen. So, yeah. PCL, the, the organized teams, wasn't it organized confusion really showed their name 100% <laughs> when they showed up five minutes late? Uh, I think so, yeah. We had, we had a few. We had a few where we were waiting for the teams to like, sort of log in, and they were still playing CSGO, etc. So, uh, yeah, we, we've had some fun times. But to have, you know, 31 teams turn up is incredible. What's going on? Hey, Kinky, you showed up when we're called. Yeah, you guys did. You, I was not expecting it because um, the turnout for the other Facebook groups have been run not through our group, but through ones I've been a part of and the admins of our group that I've been a part of usually have a 50% turnout rate. So that was what I was expecting. So if I had 200 people sign up, I was expecting probably 70, 80 of them to show up. No, everyone showed up, which was my actual worst case scenario. That was what I was afraid of because organizing 200 people on Discord who've never used it before is scary. <laughs> That's real nightmares. We're gonna look at. Oh, it looks like a lot of people are gathering around this uh, this raptor pit Having and uh, a this picnic. river. Yeah, just. I think they want to sort of try the raptors, but then they're, they're well aware that there are enemies in the area. So. You know what my favorite part of this game right now is? <laughs> look over in right lane at the graystone. Fight. Oh, the slap! The slap off. They just got the handbag. <laughs> They're just healing each other back up as soon as they hit each other. Just yeah. We'll be here all day, folks. No worries. No one's rotating from that one. I think I've got to give it to Shuey. Uh, he's got two Mad Stone gems, the healer token and the, uh, the HP part. Uh, whereas he's also Midnight got two Wolf, levels on Midnight Wolf, too. Yeah, Midnight Wolf's gone for a weird... He's got the Bloodburn powder. I'm not sure what the mana regen's going to do for him there. Uh, but he's only got the healer part, so... Yeah, Shuey able to put out a lot more damage and survive that a little bit longer, so... 
Rocks, that seems to be the case. And we have Promise clearing out the enemy jungle now, but he's being rotated on. There's the rock from BS. He throws it, lands it, burns down that green buff. There's the landmine to pop him towards the mid lane. Evil Last Child starting to rotate over through the river, bringing his own landmine. Will miss it. Promise starting to be under half health at the time as BFC goes in for the ultimate. Shuey's joining into the fight as well, but he will walk away. There is a Howitzer versus Howitzer fight happening at the same time in the mid lane. Evil Last Child. Oh, they do catch him. There's the rock. And there's going to be a double kill. Two people going down for that greedy invade uh, coming out of Prophet's team. Yeah, that's or the thing. Promises you always gotta, team, sorry. You always got to be aware. If you're going to invade, you're probably gonna, if, if one person sees you, you're probably going to get rotated on very quickly because you're going to get. You've got no team support really there, and if your team comes to help you, they're going to get caught out as well. <laughs> and that's what happens. So. Over in left lane right now, Raptor finally loses his tower as it's 20 minutes going down for the first tier one on the uh, orange team. Blue team picking that one up. So they're starting to get a bit of an advantage uh, in the game at this time. As we have chat saying that uh, right lane is looking like a big Beyblade fight <laughs> with the two Greystones. <laughs> Just bouncing off each other. <laughs> We do have yeah. suicidal landing a rock in the mid lane onto Prophet, who will be able to walk away from that one as he has a health pot burned up, and the other rampage will join into the fight. Ooh, so how are we looking at builds? I think this is a good time for builds. Uh, I'm just gonna have a quick look. Um, so the, we got uh, Iron Prophet building into those sweet, sweet meltdowns. Mm -hmm. It's weird that he started another meltdown without finishing his last one. Um, BCF is finished at Sage of Siphon and the Madstone. <laughs> Shuey's just got all the mad stones. Uh, Bromac is uh, is built into an adamant edge. He's got a bit of sustain with a healer token, two cast tokens. Um, Muriel's just finishing off that Lord's Ward. Mm -hmm. Then on the other side, we've got Iraptor, mad stones for days again with an impact hammer being built. Midnight Wolf, I'm not sure about this build with the uh, burn blood powder. Uh, I'm not sure how much he needs the mana regen. He's still got that Scout's Ward as well, which uh, I'd like to see him pick up a normal ward. Uh, it's me, Promise, Brawler's Ward, Early Rust Breaker, Sage of Siphon, so he's doing a lot of damage right now. Big uh, fight happening in the mid lane as BSC goes to throw the rock, but Evil Child is getting the landmine off to stop himself. I think that was a bit of an accident uh, as he decided to pop away from the team. Evil Child throwing out the R2000 rocket to help clear out the mid lane. Rock's and... just been thrown everywhere yeah. and missing, unfortunately. <laughs> well, it was like uh, me and Saluki the other day. I was uh, supporting for Imsco, and I was Rampage, but for some reason I couldn't throw or land a rock, and I was watching his stream, and the entire time he's like, Geronimo, you haven't landed one rock! What is wrong with you? <laughs> for 20 minutes he was just yelling at me on stream. Yeah, when you're... When you're... Normal support is Marty. You got your high expectations to live up to, so uh, I, I wouldn't. I won't be too worried about it. I mean, just <laughs> the rocks are made out of butter, man. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> These butter rocks. Okay, so going on, teams are moseying around, just trying to farm up. I think the mentality of a lot of these, uh, a lot of these games, is people don't want to fight until they have like sixty, like a clear cut advantage. They don't like to take risks. Because their understanding yeah. is when they like a lot of the risks they want to, they, they try to take um, tend to be very exaggerated. So the mentality a lot of the time is to not do that, and it's like, well, if I don't want to go in, but you could actually a lot of the time get away with a lot of stuff. And you might not. Yeah, really I, do. I mean, it's me. Promise has been doing a lot of invades. He got he got caught that once, but I'm impressed with his play. With he is in, he is invading, he's invading well. He's hitting that amber link. He's trying to take their green. Um, I've seen him take that green at least once right now, so he's doing well, he's doing the work away your jungler, he's harassing into their jungle. Um, if you get caught, you get caught, it's just the life of a jungler, you just have to deal with it. And speaking of which, we do have a fight going in the mid lane. As the team begins to get caught, BFC has to blow his ultimate, he jumps right on Raptor, this could be bad news for the Murdoch, as he's getting away with one health, there's the auto attack coming out of Prophet, managed to kill the Murdoch. Going in with Promise, getting a nice smash and grab on the Rampage, who's losing his ultimate. Bromac on Grim running in now to try and help out the enemy team. There's the R2000, Ender of Dreams, as Nate likes <laughs> the to say. Of dreams. Picking up the kill on the Grux. That's two down once again for Raptor's team. Yeah, Bromac's side is, um, I mean, even lost, they lost this tower. You can see they're starting to invade more of those, those uh, ward line. If you see, it's starting to push up ever so slightly. 
into the deeper into that blue oh, side. Oh, so. Evil as Child gets hit by the GTFO. And he's off the map. He, he GTFO right off the map. Not by choice. <laughs> he's dead. Yeah, that GTFO, I still think that needs a, a look at his scaling because it still feels, uh, if you look at, say, something like comparatively to a, a Sparrow ult, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, you, you, you kind of get rooted and it hits and you see 300 health come off the enemy and you're like, ah. Oh. I mean, if it's that a single a target ability that, ha that can be blocked, it should do a lot of damage, ideally. Yeah, yeah. It used to, like, straight out one-shot people. It was bad. Before, uh, think, like, before a, it was a, bad. A Medical, if people are lined up correctly, you could hit five people essentially. Do you know what yeah. I mean? You're not hitting for as much damage, but and it's across the map. Um, Twin Blastal, great for taking the Amber Link, but um, yeah, uh, but the range is quite good. I, I just think his, uh, his GTFO, like I say, just needs a little bit of a look at. A little bit of love. Yeah. Uh, River Boss are spawning right now. We'll see what our rotations are going to be in just a second. Three, two, one. It's a brand new red buff. Congratulations, it's a girl. <laughs> and there's gonna be a purple buff on the other side. So we have blue team picking up both at this time. BFC with the red buff rotating over, clearing up the wards. It's me promised right around the corner as the tower does fall. So blue team is doing a lot of work. They had a bit of a slow game to start off with. Both teams did. Um, but orange team did have a bit of an advantage. Now blue team is really uh, getting that advantage off as they won every team fight so far, I believe. And they now have all three inhibs down. Uh, all three T1s down. All three inhibs down, yeah. <laughs> that was quick, I didn't even see that. I must be quite a bit behind. It, it now, was um, so fast that they started a whole new game and got their tier one. <laughs> yeah, um, this is what I was saying. Once you get that, um, that T1 mid down, it opens up a lot of the maps. You can start roaming around, and the safety of the other team when they're T1 uh, and the mid's down, they have to sort of sit further back in that mid lane, which uh, again allows sort of you don't have as much dominance of the uh, the river buffs, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have very quiet games. Usually, there's a lot more uh, going on at this time. We have chat. Yeah, chat so talking about getting caught out. Chat saying you can't get caught out if the whole team gets caught out. <laughs> head, right? Yeah, I mean that's how it works, right? <laughs> logic. Oh, uh, this this, this grace going off in this lane is a, a thing to behold. The Beyblade fight, just slapping that each I... other, bouncing off each other. Yeah, that that lane's definitely resident sleeper. Because <laughs> you know, as soon as one pops, the other guys will, you know, depending on sort of hit points, he's going to carry on. One's just going to run away eventually, so. It is what it is. Yeah. Uh, for chat, if you're wondering, the Grim is glitched out right now in the replay. For some reason, he's showing up as someone else. I can't click him. I can't see his health bar. I can't see anything. Uh, Shui just gunning down the Grox. This could be a lot of trouble for Promise right now. Shui's just going full ham. He activates the Beyblade. And now the other Beyblades jumped into the fight and knocked him down. He's sitting very low. Gets knocked out of the inhib. What can he do? But run away, there's two slows, he jumps Midnight Wolf right behind him onto the much stronger Grox and Evil as Child beaming the R2000 rocket right into the back of Shui's head. He's going to go down and will be punished for overextending as far as he did. Yeah, I think tanking all the way across the tier, uh, tier 2 tower may have been a little bit optimistic, even as a Grace down there. The two um, Howitzer ults going off right now! Oh my god, the damage! <laughs> That's not a place you're gonna be stirred. No, uh, oh, just... yeah. He actually landed into the enemy uh, how it's all there. That wasn't. This is a <laughs> bloodbath in the mid lane right now as everyone slowly rotated the fights. And as. Oh, there goes Raptor! As uh, we have Bromac picking up the kill with Grim with the GTFO once again. Midnight Wolf now running in, trying to defend the team, doing what he can as uh, Muriel drops down the shield to help out his howitzer. He will walk away from that one, but that was a big pickup. That was what four? four uh, yeah, four. One? Rampage, Howitzer, Grux, and the uh, Murdoch game picked up there. So good, good exchange uh, for this for this blue side right now. Hashtag Greyblade. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thing what, what what we tend to see in lower elo games where the so everyone's playing really safe, really safe, really safe. Explosion of um, you know. Mm. Crazy Combat, everything, yeah. Yeah, yeah, everything just gets blown, all all cooldowns are down, and then 
what happens when the smoke four players are dead. <laughs> yeah. And... Both teams, everyone's dead except for the Muriel, who has like 10% health. Yeah, everyone's just to the same. Did we win? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> just have the Muriel sort of scarpering off like, nope, nope, we didn't. All right, river buffs are spawning right now. We have a black going up for profit. It's going to pick that one up. And we have a purple buff, which I believe BFC is going to get before uh, the enemy howitzer can rotate over. He does manage to get it. So that is one of the scariest things you can see in the game is that invisible rampage. Or you rather, you can't see in the game. You can still hear it, though. Don't worry. Epic's got your backs. Yeah, you, you can still hear him. So he's going to go right up behind Raptor, throws the rock, half healthing him. BFC now getting hit by an R2000. He pops his ultimate. He's looking for that Murdoch, lining up that jump. Goes right in, but the slow will keep him back. The tower has next to no health. Here's going to come out. One of the super rocks. There it is. He picks up the kill. And the tower goes down to minions. This be promised now coming in with the Grox and the dash. He has the green buff. He goes to the smash and grab, misses by an inch, but the rest of the team is rotating over as Rampage is now stuck by himself in the jungle, getting stunned and beat down. <laughs> Just like put into the corner and kicked. As uh, a yeah. punishment for killing the ADC, really. That's just, ju like, vengeance. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure the orange team thought it was full of candy, like a piñata, and just decided to <laughs> whack him with sticks. <laughs> Unfortunately, the enemy Rampage, only hit he's only full of rocks, so it's a, that's a sad piñata indeed. All right, and we do see Evil S. Child actually saving the day of profit as the rock would have hit him, but the land might bounce from away just in time. And yo, this is this is a bloody game. Twelve to five right now. Yeah, it seemed like nothing was happening for the longest time, and now everyone just wants to fight all the time, which is good. It's good, it's good for the viewers to see. It's good for us to see. It's better than the the Beyblade off in the right hand. The gray so, blade. Uh, off. <laughs> it's um, it's definitely better than watching that. Just two people hitting each other with handbags. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sword. Nah, huh? it's just, just nerf bat. All right, so the buffs Stop. are spawning right now. What do we have? We do see an invisible buff. I need to get over to that. That is going to be... I can't see it. I don't know what you saw, but how is it picked Oh, no, it, it, was, it was a black and a blue on mine, so... So a prof picks up the black then, and he's going to uh, blink away, which I believe he has a teleblink, and Rampage is going to try and help out. Greystone in the right lane, uh, looking to be engaged on right now as Pro Promise is taking a very aggressive pathing. Running through the enemy jungle, uh, running through his own jungle, but it was warded. Sorry, orange team is on the orange side of the map. Kappa. Yeah, I am profit is actually the most found, uh, oh, the most CXP right now. Sitting on thirty-eight CXP. Mm -hmm. So it's actually higher than the Grim on thirty-five, higher than Raptor on thirty-four, and higher. I mean, he's ten points ahead of uh, Evilest Child right now. Yeah, I am profit is uh, one of the higher, higher level players in the tournament. I believe he's sitting at. Uh, around the 1700 mark right now. Yeah, it's 6 1 and 3, so he's uh, definitely doing well. He's the real ADC. The, the true ADC. He, he just said, Bro, Mark, mm. this, you know, you're not even a real ADC character. No one picks for him. I, I, I'll take it from here. <laughs> and Prophet's starting to rotate in over there as uh, Team Hand might get caught out. Team does notice them in the jungle. There is vision on both sides of the. Uh, towards the Raptors. Two two wards. You have two wards in the Raptor pit right now. Not a lot of wards in the map, but two. There's only three on the map for the orange team, but two of them are for the <laughs> Raptors. Team is engaging in the mid lane right now as they're trying to out ward or out wave clear each other at the time. Uh, I believe we're not going to see a whole lot happen. Like you could, They could have been on Raptors now. They have control of it. They're not doing it. Yes, yeah, where this is what, you know, yeah, in sort of the, the, the silver gold, we don't see a lot of precedent, yeah, a lot of importance put on those raptors, and they should be because they're, you know, if you can get your ADC from each time one of those raptors come out three or five, you know, CXP for mm -hmm. free, essentially, that is that is such a, when those team fights do erupt, it is such a big uh, advantage to have. Speaking of which, look at Profit on the hunt of Raptor. There's no idea, and there it is. He still doesn't know as he gets bounced back into the slow, missing the R2000 rocket, but there is the rock from Rampage beaming in the back of the head. And Shuey's gonna be the one to pick up the kill as they now look to engage into the enemy jungle. Midnight Wolf running in on BFC, who's going to alt and then try and get out as fast as he can. Uh, Bromac just sitting in the jungle, just on the ledge, trying to farm, minding <laughs> his own business. 
but that's gonna be a nice kill. It's funny how Prophet didn't even see him on the vision. Like he was just home de dom de dom, and then he gets bounced back into the entire enemy team yeah, standing he, right behind he, him. He literally put a ward down, so he must have pinged up on the map as soon as it went down. So yeah, paying for his uh, I don't want to say ignorance, but maybe his little map awareness. More oh, or less ignorance. The... <laughs> Did you see uh, the mine didn't seem to trigger then? Uh, was which, weird. The landmine, yeah. It, yeah, it, yeah, uh, from Iron Prophet. It just didn't seem to trigger because it did go off, but didn't seem to knock him anywhere. We are seeing Wait. Iron Prophet and the rest of his team start to push up on that inhib now. If BSC has ultimate, mm. they could easily take this, but Evil as Child should have his as well. Uh, I believe he should go for the Make It Rain, and that's going to be coming from Prophet. Suicidal getting hit by the Howitzer Rock combo. And now Midnight Wolf doing what he can to jump on the enemy team, disturb the peace. Make it rain coming out of the orange howitzer as he will clear out. Shuey diving in way too far, getting his ultimate off, but I am Prophet the one tanking it now. No mana, he will be punished as Raptor runs in and shotguns him right in the mouth. <laughs> and that will be a failed inhib dive as the team had a bit of mis miscommunication by the looks of it. Miscommunication. <laughs> Not bad. I actually thought the, uh, the Greystone... Um that she was going to push up onto that tier two and maybe take it, but I think it actually got answered. We uh, just by walked the enemy right by that river buff. It's a black. Pick it up, Grim. I don't <laughs> need no river buff. Yeah, this is uh this can be a big bugbear when you see. You know, they might be holding it. A lot of teams do hold it for the right person, but you know, if that right person is your ADC. He needs to be taking that and doing more damage. Mm -hmm. Um. Nothing crazy going on over there. They just started to fight as the Ra Raptors joined the team fight. They're harassing yeah. the blue team. Yeah, there's nothing worse when you walk past and uh, you're having a bit of a fight. Your green pops in the Raptor pit and the Raptors do not like that and start to take it out of you as well. Those things can hurt when you're in the middle of a team fight, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, so if anyone's wondering what is going on here today, this is the PCL Arcade. So it's halfway in its first iteration. Um, it's a community tournament where the competitive teams in the past PCLs who win, who are like the uh, the top players and top teams in the tournaments, they are not allowed joining this. So this is uh, one made for everyone else. That way you can play in a tournament, have fun, and um, you won't get, you know, pub stomped by Reborn, by Carbon, by Organized Confusion and OxyNA. Uh, and you have a chance, you know, a fair chance at winning the tournament. So we do the best job we can to balance these things out. Each team on Agora, we used Agora as our reference here, so we're not, like, advocating ELO. I want to make sure we all have that, uh, under, <laughs> like, well-informed. We don't advocate, we're not advocating ELO, we're just using Agora as our reference point. All teams are balanced out at around 1,400, uh, to the best that we can. You're allowed to single sign up, or you're allowed to play with your, uh, friends as well. We do... We do our best for Connor, everyone. Team fight breaking out right now by the Raptor Pit as both Elas Child and Suicidal could be in a little bit of trouble. Both Rampagers ulting as well as Grox getting the clap off, doing what he can to just swing into the enemy team. Both Greystone's ultimates popping off at the time as well. First one going down will be Shui to Evil as Child. Second one's going down will be the Blue, Greystone, and Rampage. Teams at very low health. And Promise looks like he's been in trouble right now. He managed to kill Bromac. Very little health. That's going to be a triple kill, I believe, for Promise? I think so. This is, this is, I mean, while it is good for the players and it's a little better for them when it comes to drafting and stuff that they get to pick the players that, you know, we allow mirrors. From a casting perspective, when you've got two Greystones, this two Rampages, <laughs> two Howitzers in there just making a mess, very difficult to follow, so you're going to have to bear with us on that, folks. I have no uh, idea what just happened there. I just saw all the same ultimates happening at once and then dying. I just saw a lot of explosions and little, you know, the, the portrait's being coloured in a red with a little number in front of them after that, so... <laughs> Uh, you'll have to bear with us because these mirrors it is difficult, especially when they've got the same skins, etc. So it, it can be a bit of a problem. And we are seeing Raptor doing a great job with Evilest Child taking down that tier 2. So jump pads being knocked out from the blue team. Bam, bam, could this be an inhib? Are they going to go for it is also a good question. They're trying to keep the Muriel off the tower, but they do notice the team has respawned, so they're starting to back off that uh, as fast as they can, which is probably the smarter decision. Yeah, I'm impressed by that. They, you know, the they sense they got an advantage and they immediately pushed that tier two. So uh, we'll play from uh, Raptor side there, from uh, Raptor and 
evil as child. Um, <laughs> this, this is the thing. You, you, the economy of this game is your time. The time for farming, the time when the enemy team are down, you push objectives, either towers, raptors, OP. Mm -hmm. You've got to make the most out of your time, basically, in this game. Uh, so if, if you're just sat in lane, sort of not doing anything, you're not being effective, you're not helping your team, you're not warding, you're not de-warding, etc. So I'm, I'm glad to see these teams doing that and making use of the time well. That does seem to be, the, like, that is definitely really important. And one thing I'm very impressed by is the teams are doing a good job now of rotating, they're taking care of yep. lanes when needed, like, they're operating pretty efficiently, all things considered, uh, and they're not letting um, objectives go to waste, they're contesting things, they're paying attention to their map. Blue team is doing yep. a great job on warding this game, like, we've seen them have wards Yeah, well, look at it now, yeah. And, uh, I mean, I actually have the visual bug where all the minions are orange, so I just see a massive orange blob appearing in the rivers a lot of the time. Um, but I haven't seen a, a tower just go down, a free tower go down to minions, where they get distracted in a team fight, and then the minions just sort of stomp on into a, you know, a, a, a push is, is just gone to, you know, goes by the wayside, and then all of a sudden a tower's down. So I haven't seen a slow push result in a, in a, a free tower, essentially. Right now we're having chats trying to split us apart, Nate. They're saying oh. ty type in GJ or NAs to vote for the better commentator. You can't <laughs> split us apart, Twitch chat. We're the Beard Brothers. We were, we both roll with the beards and the hats, so. Yeah. Uh, but you know, if I had to say someone was better. <laughs> if I had to say someone was better. <laughs> I am not being drawn into that. Nah, nah. Jack's it Jack's it would be seen at her. <laughs> it's, uh, it's gotta be Pythian Lagoon, you know. Pythian Lagoon, oh yeah, Pith, <laughs> Pith is, uh, he's the Narender for the, the casting team. He's, he's the know, man. He is the man, he is the man. And Pith is not, uh, this is, this is break week for everyone else, so, completely side project, um, from some of the people in the PCL, uh, myself, as well as a couple of the admins. So the usual guys, Shane, Notch, Narender, all those Piff, all those guys, they get they get a nice weekend uh, off. Well, Narender's actually running the Phoenix Cup, which is going on right now. So oh, that is I don't true. Think, I'm pretty sure Narender doesn't sleep. Um, no. yeah, he's always admin. He's always admining something. <laughs> and if he's not, he's like writing to Epic and telling them what's wrong with the game and how they should fix it, etc. Or uh, screaming with Carbon, etc. He's a very busy guy. I'm pretty sure Narender is actually just like secretly German because. He just loves to work. I don't even think he's human. I think he's like a, something sent back in time to help us sort out of the Paragon scene. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like sort of a Terminator style, but just for Paragon. Have you seen um, Have you seen the one webcomic where it's like uh, German gaming? And the, it's like flight simulator, tractor simulator, farming simulator, like train simulator. It's just the German guy in his room just like stroking his face with happiness. <laughs> he like he like he's like oh great I got off work I get to go home and like like have fun and it just does it, his fun is just more work work simulators <laughs> that's Narender. <an> <laughs> yeah, I can't say it been too long before that guy pick, gets picked up by it. He does a lot for the community. He does a lot off his own back. So if he leaves though, we're all the, the the amount of people needed to fill the work he does. Oh no, we're just gonna let him offer it, get get the job offer, and then make him refuse it. So it's, yeah. you know, it's, it's well, the entire <laughs> entire Paragon community will hold him to gunpoint, saying, <laughs> "Don't! I dare you! Do it! Leave!" <laughs> <laughs> so uh, back to get back to the game. Um, yeah, usually a good metric of who's getting sort of better board position or better map uh, position, should I say, is the ward coverage. And as we can see now, that that orange line of wards is is holding. So around both midpoint, they've got mm -hmm. a few deep wards on each side, but nothing like they're not around that T2 where you get a line of wards going around the T2 oh, of no. the map. You can't oh. get caught out if your whole team gets caught out, as that is exactly what's happening as the teams just completely split off and dive each other. As we have the one howitzer and the Murdoch being dove on by only Shuey, he's 2v1ing the enemy team at this time and winning. Greyblade making moves. Yeah, this is when when, when Greystone. I mean, he's got that crit build, and when those crits start hitting you for four five hundred, <laughs> that kind of hurts. <laughs> yeah. And you know, you're like you're running into this guy, and you're like, you know, I'm sorry about the swearing, but fuck, I gotta kill this guy twice. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And, and that can be a pain because he's really tanking. 
Oh lord. Oh. They do Did get out. That? They get out. But yeah, the crit build is where Grey Greystone's really at. I was like, why would you build crit, crit on Greystone? What is wrong with you? And then I played it. I'm hitting for 500 with lifesteal. No one's what? like, no one's stopping me, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I never, I actually built the crit into my armor. So with the bright steel plate and the, um, oh, I can't remember the ability one. Golden Veil, I think it is. And, uh, you know, I built mm -hmm. probably around 50% crit, which is enough. It's usually like every other, you know, auto attack is hitting for maybe 500, 400. Yeah, so. Especially if you get those Brightstone plates and yeah. uh, all those, like, crit armor cards in there. Because yeah. he gets, what, 400 free health on his passive, plus a little bit of armor. So then you take the yeah. Brightstone plates to get more armor on that on that health and crit. And you're like, cool, just, you know, come at me, bro. And then he's got the green buff as well. So he's like, oh, God, this is... No one wants to go and mess with that. That's just a chore. <laughs> it really is. Like he's easy to kill, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> I yeah, I mean, that. what's That's it? So is, uh, oh god, it's got 40, 40 It's got a forty-eight percent crit. He's got the hunger mole in, so he's got ten percent life steal. He's got a little bit more armor with a tempered plate, and uh, then he's got a, a wind carver with a uh, brutal connect. So he's putting out the damage very quickly. Mm -hmm. He's got another pure as well. So just in case he wasn't quite hard enough to kill under the pure on top. <laughs> That's like another, what, 500 hit points for you and your... Just you don't your duel him. It's not worth it. <laughs> yeah. Not worth it at all. What? Oh, so we do... I have another health bug now, so I'm Profit sitting at no health for me for whatever reason. And on the other side of the map, we see uh, Bromac trying to pick up, I believe, a Raptor. I don't, I don't think he got it. They're gonna give the red buff to Howitzer. I believe we're gonna have a team fight right now. The game's 43 minutes in, so we're hitting the points now where one team fight will decide the game. <clears throat> yeah, these uh, when it gets sort of this time, you know, those those death timers start becoming 60, 70, 80 seconds, and mm -hmm. you know, if you thought you could do a lot when they didn't have jump pads and those eight seconds made a difference, eight really does make a difference. You know, that's that's two towers. That could be a tower inhib, etc. So that could be a whole lane in core. Yeah, the, you have to be really careful, especially you get three or four members wiped out and you're left with a Muriel trying to push back waves and just crying, basically. Speaking of Muriel right now, she's got to blow her ultimate to get across the map just to go to safety. So Muriel ultimate is down. That's going to be a big part of uh, the blue team's team fight that they will not have any more poor team nine. Yeah, it's not something you want to ever want to do as a Muriel. You know, it's always kind of embarrassing when you get caught and you have to all out and... You know, you're like the you're the team jungle. You're like, why? I'm just doing a camp. Why have you just altered onto me? Oh, I see. <laughs> she, you know, she she comes in with maybe twelve hit points. You think just oh, bloody okay. and wounded. Just <laughs> help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you messed up. <laughs> you, you you messed up. I'm sorry. It'd be funny if you can landmine your own teammates. Just landmine so them back hard. into the enemy team after that shields. So good as a BM tool. <laughs> just wait, you know, if someone's running out for the river buff that you really want and you mine them away from it, that'd be so cool. I bet you five bucks at one point the landmine did work on your allies. It, it probably did. And then Epic had a laugh with it for about an hour and thought, no, we best not put this in. This is going <laughs> to ruin friendships. Let's not do this. So the teams are getting close to Prime, both of them hovering around it. Are they going to do it? Midnight Wolf sees the ward trying to clear it out, but Orb Prime is just... You know, shooting at him right now, so he's gonna walk away from that one before anything bad happens at this time. Who's playing right now? Ruari. Uh, there are no team names. It's Team Nine and Team Twenty. There are 31 teams in this tournament. I woke up this morning and I was like, "Okay, let's do this. I'm ready for. I'm ready for crazy things to happen." Everyone showed up. Oh, oh man. Yeah, we we couldn't think of 30 uh, 31 team names, unfortunately. I mean, we could, many, but not even that many heroes in the game to name them after the heroes. Uh, yeah, we, we wouldn't have, uh, probably could have done like a light to the team captain and just given the team captain more. Oh, there's a nice rock coming out of Suicidal as Grux comes in. He gets a nice clap on three and goes to the smash and grab, hitting the Muriel. Not chasing anyone else out as BFC is doing what he can to stop the Grux from going on to T-Man. But will he be able to do it? No, he's going to walk off. Raptor helping out now as the uh, Rampage on the blue team gets knocked out of the map. Rampage on the... Oh, that's both Rampages going down. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, we have yet another team fight going on. You know, more than one team fight at any given time here. 
as they're starting to chase down Midnight Wolf, who has no ultimate anymore. I'm Prophet and Grim following that. There's the landmine. There's the slows. They're not going to chase him anymore. That was a kill dead to right. Instead, they're picking their targets and going on the Murdoch. Shuli's just... Mm, I think that was a bad decision. They had that Greystone for free and let him go. I mean... I probably would have maintained and gone into the Greystone because with the Greystone and the Rampage down, the enemy team has no front line. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult. I mean, you've still got the howitzer, so you can always like you know break up the sieges. Oh, the oh the Grim goes down. Oh, didn't actually see that. Wait, when did Grim go down? Uh, I believe I Raptor killed him. Yeah, I Raptor killed him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know you can't see him right now, but he is out for 55 seconds right now. So, uh, without the ADC, this is when you need to be making moves when um, the ADC is down. This is when um, they need to prime right now, but their team's just spawning. This is ideally when you want to pick a fight. You know, yeah. if you can bring a five man against a four man and the four man team doesn't have an ADC, you're probably going to win that fight 99 times out of 100. So, I'd like to see the team start to sort of group up a little bit better. And, what it is when the team fights are happening, it seems really disjointed. Like they're not calling the shots on who to go on. You know, everyone seems to be going out. It's like a barroom brawl mm -hmm. where everyone's just picking a fight with everyone right now. So, oh, we are starting on the prime right now as both teams are rotating over to it. They've probably given away the position prime now and have health as profit starting to come in. There's the howitzer ultimate dropping down on prime. This could go to anyone as prime knocks it away. Profit managing to steal or Prime, but he gets rocked out of the air and now he could be in a little bit of trouble as he's doing his best to keep the team away from him. Muriel coming in to save the Howitzer won't be good enough. Team helping out Shui is there as well. Muriel going down, they have Prime, but they lost it. They should have just left Howitzer there. He stole it, he did his job. Oh yep. no! I'm sure the Howitzer appreciated that for about half a second before he thought, you know, maybe we could have ended with this, so... Oh, no! I bet you, I bet you five bucks profit's probably, like, actually sobbing. <laughs> He's got his hands in his, his head in his hands. Just <laughs> tears. Such a, good, such a good steal, but, um, yeah. Oh, I've got the bug now where I can't actually see profit anymore. Just got a sad picture of the OP pit, uh, the OP pit where he actually died. <laughs> rest, rest in peace. So um, this could does be. Does anyone actually have? No, the everyone. The only people who have Prime left are, uh, I believe. Oh, uh, Bromac still has it. BFC doesn't even have it. Bromac doesn't show it up for me either. So. Yeah, Bromac still has it. So that's still quite good to have it on your ADC. I'm yeah, actually. If, if you... Yeah, this game is just bugged out completely because now on my game on my screen nobody has health. <laughs> Oh, that's always a fun bug. Yeah, I, I don't want to jump back 10 seconds, but I believe that is going to be our inhib down. The team is not going to push any further. Um, do you want to go back 10 more? Actually, no, I can't. Let's just let's just deal with what we got. This game should be <laughs> It's just it's actually I'm I'm partially amused with how like over time the replay has actually deteriorated more yeah, and more. Uh, I mean, we've got, we've gone away. I mean, I've got orange minions everywhere. Um, <laughs> I can't even see I am profit anymore. I don't know. Oh, okay, I can see he's just got no health. He's now immortal on zero hit points. Um, yeah. Oh, I've got no health bars over heroes either. I've only just realized that. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see how far this actually goes. I'm just waiting for the map to disappear. <laughs> disappear. Floating minions just destroying stuff. That's how. Well, the, you know, the, the meme that's going around with the guy just floating through the universe. Mm -hmm. With the um, the shooting stars song in the background, just the floating howitzer <laughs> just going round and round. <laughs> River bus are spawning right now. There is the inhib going down. So this still could be anyone's game. There is a bit of an advantage for the orange team now. Yep. Wow, uh, my rampage doesn't even have an attack animation anymore. Oh, cool. He's just walking up and willing things to die. No, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I can see the hit animation, but I can't see any attacks. It's oh, just epic, please. This is, this is, <laughs> I love this. This is amazing. Still Replays not as good as the, 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 the sad Sevrog. Is probably sad still Sevrog the was great. <laughs> if any guys watched the PCL, we had it where the Sevrog was stuck in the uh, stun animation, and he just sort of moped around the map, sort of emo <laughs> Sevrog in. Just, yeah. 
His heart really wasn't in it that day. You see, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> and that, that's, this is the thing that I like from uh, Monolith to Legacy, because uh, Legacy, when an inhibit was down, it was like really, you know, you were up against it, and it usually was a sort of slow death. Whereas now teams can manage on one to two inhibs down. It's still an uphill struggle, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But you can still win, you know, one team fight away from a win at that point. So, especially when it's 51 minutes in. Okay, so that is going to oh. be it. Uh, I don't think the bracket actually works this uh, for this one, guys. We haven't updated our bracket in Moobot. This is a, a very grassroots stream sort of, sort of thing. So the first iteration of this one is going to be uh, very bare bones basic. We were more focused on organizing the teams and introducing people who aren't familiar with Discord into Discord. <laughs> So we have got the visual bug where uh, Murdoch's ult is on a 958 seconds cooldown. Oh, so we, uh, the new one's coming nine, in. With a minus 958 seconds cooldown. Just so he's perma just got, laser. He's just permanently got that. That's just his new auto attack. 